Hello and welcome to your 15th C++ lesson and basically we're going to do about constructors and destructors. So last lesson we had an application which looked a bit like this. I can't remember if I used this exact one in the text or the video lesson but you'll have something that looks a bit like this. Um, so just open that up or you know write it out now. It's not particularly complicated. Um, but basically with classes um, you can have constructors and destructors. So first of all, we're going to go over constructors. So what we're going to do, we're just going to say ball, oops, ball, and then we're just going to treat it like it was a function. So ball, open, close, open, close. So almost like we're making a function, but we haven't specified a data type for the function. We're just saying ball, and we're saying ball because the class is called ball. So now we have this ball function. Um, what it is, is it's a constructor, and basically what that means is when we uh, create a class object, for example my ball down here, the constructor is called. So let's say we haven't set these values down here, we've set equals 5 and then 9.32. Let's say we haven't done that, it just says ball my ball. Uh, and now we're trying down here access the size and the bounciness, but we haven't set any, they're nothing. It's going to get so confused. So in the constructor, let's just set default values for these. In fact, before we do that, let's try running it, just to see the output. Okay, we got, whoa, I mean, they're pretty strange numbers. Have you ever seen these numbers? I don't think so. So, just to avoid that, what we're going to do is we can say size equals zero, and, oh, bounciness equals zero, or zero point zero. So, if we now debug that, you'll see, aha, it's actually set to sensible values now. Um, I'm just to show you this is definitely the constructor doing this. I haven't somehow decided to trick you with complex hidden C++. Actually, it wouldn't have to be that complex, but you know. Uh, see how this is the constructor. End line. So it's going to set the value to zero. It's going to go, okay, you know, we've constructed, just tell you. So this is, you know, we've constructed. Uh, so that's when it says ball my ball, and then it see out the size value, which has been set to zero by default into the, in the constructor, and the bounciness value, which is also zero by default in the constructor. So constructors are obviously useful for many things, but it really depends what you're doing with them. So in this example, um, setting things to zero it seems to work pretty well, um, and it does what we want it to do. A lot of the time you might want to call functions or set variables to things that will actually be of use instead of default. Um, but for now, we're just going to leave it at this. Now, on to destructors. Now, in this application, uh, destructors aren't needed uh, at all. But basically, what they are is, it's a lot like how you do the constructor. So, uh, apart from, we do this uh, strange little wiggly symbol. It's called, I think it's called like a tidal or something, or a tidal, tidal, I'm not sure. Um, basically, you do one of them. Uh, it, for me, it's shift and the hash key. Um, and then you can type your class name. And then it's just like the constructor. And inside, any, uh, it's pretty much everything you want to do when the application closes and it destroys the class object. Or if the class object's for some reason destroyed before the application ended. Uh, it will go to this destructor right here. And it will go, okay, what do you want? So, uh, for now, we're just going to go see out this is the destructor. Now, the thing is, chances are you're not going to see this. Because um, basically what's going to happen is it's going to close. And while it's closing, I mean, it's destroying everything. Well, it's doing it really fast. This quickly pops off like a millisecond. And just goes, this is the destructor. And then it's destroyed. Uh, which is why we usually do not put see out statements in the destructor. You usually be... Uh, deleting things you've created using the new keyword which you should find out about in some later lessons um, usually deleting stuff and setting stuff to zero and um, the kind of basic stuff you want to do a shutdown so I'm not sure if you're going to see this but we'll do it anyway okay so you ready? you ready? wow I didn't even see it and I'm doing it in real time rather than on YouTube so I'm pretty sure you're not going to see that basically um, this is when the application closes, you can put the stuff in here. So, let's say, hmm, there's not really a lot of examples I can give you, but it is really when the application closes, you put the stuff in these curly brackets, which is the destructor. 
So constructor, stuff when the class object begins. Destructor, when the class object ends or is destroyed. Um, okay, it's been quite a short video, but it's really simple stuff. So um, have fun with it, although it's a simple concept. I don't know how you're going to have fun with it, but oh well, you'll figure it out. Uh, have a nice day.